Hi guys, Buddy Guy Landman. Uh, last week I flew down to Oklahoma City on Monday and I worked uh, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then I flew back on Friday. I had some personal things I had to go take care of in uh, in Oklahoma City. My mom was uh, having a procedure done. But anyway, I'm back here in Anchorage, Alaska now and and I've got my bag ready to go and I wanted to get more into that about taking up as least amount of space as possible and I want to address a couple of other issues today the reason that it's like this is because you need to be fresh and smell good at every single door you go to uh, how I've packed my bag is I've got four press shirts in here I've got four pairs of socks all clean and these are folded in a way that you're not going to get a bunch of wrinkles you're, it's okay to get creases but you don't want to be too wrinkled up uh, you can see that over there on the wall I've got my laptop with everything that I need uh, in the leasehold already downloaded to it so it's available offline. I don't depend on the internet when I go out. Next to that is a four day battery pack that should be charged um, by my flight which is I need to leave here tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, to get out to the Kenai Peninsula. And then my smartphone, it's probably already charged. I've got my iPad with my uh, Road Warrior software in there and, and uh, the physical addresses of the properties that I need to go buy. But I just want to address this, you're carrying all those cords and everything else. There's some cords you don't need to uh, need to carry. When you get home, charge your, your toothbrush up and have it uh, placed out there. And uh, Also, you don't want to smell when you bad when you go to somebody's house, especially if you're sitting around at the dinner table together. You may not be able to smell your rump, but uh, the lessers will probably smell it from riding in the car, leather, whatever. So you get a little bit of cologne, I like the Tommy, it doesn't matter because the thing is you're not going to spray this on to where you're gagging somebody with it. What you do is after you get your case packed or your kit packed, you want to uh, just kind of scatter some cologne over it. Make sure you have some hand sanitizer and some deodorant and pack it in a way where everything's flat. So on this side I've got four pairs of socks protecting uh, the front of one of my press shirts and I've got... Uh, four shirts hanging so that they only get folded in half one time in this particular case. Here I've got four pairs of jeans that I flip flop to make it exactly fit the suitcase. And then here I've got a pair of sweats and I've got those driving underwear that I mentioned in another video. The underwear really do matter. These are Naki, uh, I'm sorry, Knocker, Perry Ellis, Puma, Adidas, and David Archie. But they're all these underwear designed for driving. What I've done is I've taken a pair of thin sweats so that I can take all of these undergarments and I've got it perfectly right there in one grip. And it fits inside this plastic bag. I've already measured it out and it's going to be super flat. The reason you want to keep it super flat is to protect your press shirts. So in here I've taken only what I need uh, for the next week. And over here I've already shined up my boots, I've cleaned up my hat, I've got my I've got the uh, ass end of my pants here standing up, you know, towards the ceiling, and I've already dusted this with cologne too. You don't want to smell, show up smelling heavy like cologne, but you do want to just smell fresh and clean, and that's what it smells like in this room. It's just really fresh and clean right now. Uh, this time I'm going out there, uh, in one of my previous videos I talked about this, but you guys need to find one of these. You can get them through uh, from the county in which you're in. Out here I got this from the borough. Uh, the Kenai Peninsula Borough, and inside there it has all the subdivisions and the roads that you may or may not be able to see on your uh, Garmin or on Road Warrior. Sometimes the houses just don't line up, the maps are kind of screwy. So once I get this folded in half, everything will just be one crease, and then I've got two pockets on the back, one for sign leases and one for dropping off leases. Come around here, I'm going to show you something. Anything you can charge, your toothbrush, you're probably going to need to mow your face uh, sometime during the week. you got five days in there, depending on how fast it grows. Make sure your electric razor is charged, your toothbrush is charged. That eliminates two cords to carry because you got enough. Uh, make sure your camera's charged. You don't have to ca have a camera on you, but I've seen so many beautiful things out there on the countryside. It's a shame not to cap capture some of them. Uh, then you've got your pocket stuff. I've got my jump drive here that goes to Apple products and it goes to PC. I've got the everything that has to do with this leasehold on this 32 gigabyte 
jump drive, every name, every address, everything that I found. This is the entire Google Drive in my hand offline. And then I've got just phone numbers and names on this jump drive right here. Always carry some, always carry some cards uh, in your pocket. So you can hand them out quick, get your wallet, all your stuff ready to go the night before so that you don't have to fumble with it. Get all of your window mounts, your business cards, your extra phone. Always, when you're here in Alaska or any leasehold, always have some gloves. These are excellent in case a dog decides to snap me. It's got some, it's got some protection because you can't walk on somebody's property and kick your dog, kick their dog. Now can you? <laughs> you just got to protect yourself. And this is another thing that's, that's excellent. Every time you go on a trip, I don't care what you do, what you spend, you get a receipt and you stuff that receipt in a bag where you know it's not going to get lost into your pockets at the end of the night when you get back to the hotel and any receipts in there, get them in here. Get your notepads, get your exhibit, and carry one lease with you at least in your briefcase at all times for that surprise meeting that you have no idea you're bound for. <laughs> Again, here's my laptop charging, my four-day battery pack, my personal six, my, my A number one phone, uh, and my iPad with leasehold, and also my Garmin. Everything's laid out. I know it's all going to be in the bag, so I do a final check. And then over there, I've, uh, I've got my, my clothing for tomorrow, so I don't need to include any of that. You need to think ahead. I'll be gone five days. I've got one full set of clothes with the press shirt right there, and then I've got four press shirts, four new jeans, four new socks, four pairs of underwear, and three undershirts because you just never know what what you might have to do when you're out there but I, what I'm what I'm preaching on is don't carry more than you need uh, anyway I'll I'm heading to the uh, point first thing in the morning and hopefully this time we get to see some wildlife or something or, or whatever but I'll be uh, I'll be updating you from uh, anchor point next which is on the Kenai Peninsula that's all I got for today